Kobe's career is in the books. There are no more maybes or might bees. We can now evaluate his career as a complete picture. The question is, how great of a career was it? Many would consider Kobe to be the greatest player of all time, or at least the second greatest. Since most would consider Michael Jordan to be the GOAT, the question really comes down to, was Kobe better than Jordan? Well, there's only one way to find out. We're going to compare the two side by side. We'll take a look at four categories, offense, defense, intangibles, and achievements and accolades. We're also giving you a chance to influence the decision. Make sure you cast your vote in the poll connected to this video. So let's get started. Offensively, Kobe and Jordan have very similar styles of play. So much so that most would say Kobe straight up copied Jordan's moves and footwork. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? Both had a wide array of offensive moves, including fadeaways, pull-ups, intricate footwork, and athletic dunks. Their similarity probably stems from the fact that they both had the same body type. At 6'6 and around 200 pounds, they both were tall and strong enough to dominate in the post, so it was only natural that Kobe would show off the same moves as Jordan. The same goes for both having excellent footwork. You don't get to be an all-time great without footwork, so it's not surprising that they both share this skill. So in terms of style, they're very similar, but the question is, who did it better? There are several pieces of evidence that point to Jordan as the better player. He averaged over 30 points per game for his career to Kobe's 25. Jordan had eight seasons where he averaged 30 or more points per game, where Kobe had just three such seasons. Jordan also shot a better field goal percentage than Kobe at 49.7 compared to 44.7. They both shot free throws at about the same rate, but Jordan managed to get to the line a bit more than Kobe, an impressive feat when you consider how much physicality was allowed in Jordan's era. Then of course there's Jordan's 10 scoring titles to Kobe's 2. Now there is one major difference between Kobe and Jordan. Kobe shot a lot more three-pointers than Jordan did. While Jordan averaged less than two three-point attempts per game, Kobe more than doubles that average. Now, we've heard some say that three-point shooting was a weakness for Jordan, but a strength for Kobe. The fact is, neither one of them were good at all. Kobe shot 32.9% from the three-point line for his career, and Jordan shot 32.7%. The argument could be made for either player that he made it when it mattered, but that's for a different section. The point is, this wasn't a strength for either one. But it might affect things like field goal percentage and free throw attempts. Since Kobe shot more three-pointers, that could be why his field goal percentage is lower and why he averaged fewer free throw attempts. On the other hand, this only makes Jordan look even better for averaging over 30 points for his career since he rarely took or made threes. You could also look at the fact that Jordan averaged more assists than Kobe, though by a slight margin. Kobe showed that he had the ability to do that, but he wasn't as prone to pass as Jordan was. Now, no one is saying Jordan was Magic Johnson out there, he was a scorer for sure, but clearly Jordan was more willing to pass than Kobe was. As a side note, B-Ball Breakdown did an excellent video on this topic. I found it after writing this script, but there are some key points that support what we're saying here, so make sure you check that out. Finally, if you look at more advanced stats like offensive win shares, PER, effective field goal percentage, and offensive rating, it's not even close. Kobe can't match Jordan's numbers in those categories. The bottom line here is that while their styles were extremely similar offensively, Jordan did it better. Don't get it twisted, similarity is not the same as equality. Jordan averaged more points, shot a better percentage, got to the line more, and the advanced stats show that this all equaled more wins than Kobe. So, offense goes to Jordan. The first few numbers people will look at is rebounds, steals, and blocks. Jordan outperforms Kobe in all of these categories, but we're talking one more rebound, less than one more steal, and 0.3 more blocks. In all, they're pretty equal. Let's dig a little deeper and see what impact they had. We looked at defensive win shares, defensive box plus minus, total rebound percentage, steal percentage, and block percentage. Again, Jordan outshines Kobe in every category. This is all without even taking into account Jordan's Defensive Player of the Year award. 
Jordan also has just as many all-defensive first-team selections as Kobe, despite playing five fewer seasons. Now, you could say that Jordan had more leeway when playing defense, since rules involving hand-checking and overall contact weren't in place when he played. However, a lot of those rules were put in place in the 2000 and 2004 seasons, and when you compare Kobe's numbers before and after those seasons, there isn't much difference. Now, before calling this category, let's clarify one thing. Both Kobe and Jordan were terrific defenders. However, you'd have to ignore a lot of information to say that Kobe was better than Jordan. We're giving this one to Jordan. Intangibles would be things like leadership, consistency, and the big one, clutch play, killer instinct. When it comes to Kobe and Jordan, the only one that really matters is clutch play. Kobe was kind of a jerk, but Jordan was too, just maybe more charismatic. And anyway, the only thing people really argue about is who made more game winners. Both have the reputation for being two of the most clutch players in NBA history. But does that hold up under scrutiny? Now, this can be a hard stat to measure since a lot of people have different definitions of clutch play or situations. So we'll just look at everything. We'll start with their overall playoff performances, every game, every round. For the most part, both perform well. Jordan's numbers go up a bit while Kobe's generally stay the same. Of course, Jordan's numbers are generally better than Kobe's already, but we've covered that in the previous categories. Let's narrow it down to elimination games and game sevens, when the pressure is at its highest. In both scenarios, Jordan outperforms Kobe. Jordan even performed above his averages in these situations, whereas Kobe did the opposite. Let's get to even more clutch situations. Game winners. When it comes to potential game tying or go ahead shots in the final 24 seconds of the fourth quarter or overtime in playoff games, Jordan made 50% of his shots. Kobe made just 25% of his shots in those situations. As a note, the league average for these shots is about 28%, so while Jordan is way above average, Kobe is about as likely to make a game winner as any other player in the league. If you narrow it down to the final 10 seconds, same kind of shot, Jordan made 47% of those shots, while Kobe made just 23%. So while both players have the reputation for being clutch shooters, only one of them actually was. Kobe made a few big shots, but the numbers are undeniable. Kobe simply was not as clutch as people give him credit for. We're giving this category to Jordan. So far, Jordan is leading the series 3-zip. Let's see if Kobe can come back and avoid a clean sweep. In this category, it's a little closer. Kobe has more All-NBA and All-Defensive selections overall, as well as more All-NBA first-team selections, while they're tied for All-Defensive first-team selections. Kobe also made more All-Star games and won All-Star game MVP one more time than Jordan. However, Jordan has more MVPs, Finals MVPs, rings, and scoring titles, and won Defensive Player of the Year and Rookie of the Year, which Kobe did not. Also, without sounding biased, we feel it's important to point out that Kobe played six more complete seasons than Jordan, so his leads are not really that impressive. However, the fact is, Kobe played those seasons and he won those awards. That being said, Jordan still has more wins in this category. Now, you could get into the teams Jordan played on that allowed him to win so many rings and all that, but that's for a different video. In fact, we did a video on that if you'd like to check it out. Simply put, we're giving this category to Jordan. So there you have it. It turned out to be not a close competition at all. Now, to be fair, Jordan would probably blow anyone out in this sort of competition because, well, he's just that good. That's why he's the greatest of all time. Kobe is also a great player, but he just can't compare to Jordan. And we didn't even include everything in this video. There is even more information you could use to support Jordan. In the end, it's clear. Jordan is the GOAT. At least according to us. Now it's your chance to let your voice be heard. Cast your vote using the poll in this video and leave a comment below telling us what you think. Make sure you subscribe for more NBA Top 10s and Player Verses, follow us on social media to get updates as soon as we post a new video, and follow me on Twitter at MTV underscore Sydney.